Vegas. A lot of different unique ideas of how to promote health in the school. What we could use in our classroom. It's parents, administrators, teachers, social emotional learning, everyone that's interested in impacting the culture of health in their schools. How the brain works. Your amygdala is in charge of your fight, flight, freeze response. Because if kids are stressed, they physically cannot learn. If your amygdala has hijacked your brain, you can no longer think with your prefrontal cortex. Sometimes they just need a break. Their brain's working so hard, it refocuses their attention, chemically allows them to retain more information and stay engaged. I've been doing healthy schools for a really long time. Every time I get an opportunity to come here, it just gets me excited. You're going to change levels. So you're either going to be a really, really high or really, really low. What we're trying to do is really make a connection between movement and learning. I'm walking 37 steps, walking 15 steps. When I say rotate, you're going to rotate directions. Um, touching four walls. Touching four walls, three tables, and giving two high fives with a woohoo! A lot of times healthy schools, people look at it as something sort of extra or something on the side, but really the work that we do in healthy schools is more than just, we should do it because we can. It's like, do it, we should do it because it actually does scientifically help kids. This is my first time coming to this workshop and it's really inspiring. Pulling out kind of the practicality of how you can integrate it in a way that doesn't seem like contrived or forced. Not something additional on the plate, but it is the plate. It holds everything else. Vital to learning. The amount of knowledge and useful strategies and tips I've already taken away. We did one permission slip so our kids could go within like one mile of our school with, with your teacher. Like getting them outside um, and just incorporating movement into any content. This is something that as learners we should be doing. Rotate. I'm definitely going to get the kids moving more throughout the day, not just at specific times. Change! <laughs> Switch! You know, clapping or counting or skipping. Rotate! Switch! You know, from a PE perspective, I, I, I really respect teachers who are able to include that movement in their classroom. People really appreciate it. They really feel like it strengthens the work, it strengthens the impact at their school. And on the, on the flip side, you know, I, I try to reciprocate that. They learn so much from each other, more than they'll ever learn from us. All the schools posted their ideas, and I took photos of all of them, um, because I want to bring that back to our staff and say, here's what other schools are doing. I think helps encourage and inspire teachers to make small changes. Changing that donuts for dads into uh, day, day break with dads, and just, just, you know, simple wording like that. Is real simple things that I think can change the culture. I just can't wait to get back and share with them. It's just an opportunity to really get excited again.